Hey Leo, ever long this dig here. So today we're gonna get you a message and we're gonna look at what is in between. In between what you ask? Two energies. So we're gonna look at two energies that are around you and we're just gonna see what's between them, i.e. why are they here? What, like, why are they here? What can you find in them? And what do you do with what you find? You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know how many times I've, you know, like, I've been watching, I'll watch a reading or I'll, you know, watch a video on someone channeling or something and they'll say, oh, this, this energy is you and this energy is you. And then like, they don't even tell you what to do with it, you know? Let's see if we can get a little bit more specific. Is that one or two? It's two, you sneaker. Okay. All right, and for those of you that, well, the, for those of you that have been with my channel for a long time, thank you, um, you probably know what this means. If you don't know what this means, then um, stick around and I will show you. All right, let me get the rest of the cards out. So we have, these are the two energies that are around you. And then I will use tarot. I wasn't ready. All right, using tarot to find out why you are here and why you are here and then what we can find in this energy and what we can find in this energy and then we'll use itty bitty wild unknown to see what do we do with it What do we do with it? And what do we do with it? All right. First energy. Oh, wow. So we have the thread here. And what I'm gathering from this here, Leo, is that you are about like, it almost looks like like this person that's pulling this this string this thread it almost seems like they're about to unleash something okay it seems like i mean it and there's all of these clouds and stuff like it's like unleashing a downpour at your own will so i don't know if you're about to blow the lid off of something or or what but there's this energy around you where you f like where you feel like you need to like <clears throat> have a complete like Wa not wash out, but downpour of something so that you can see, so that you, so you can get to a little bit of daylight. It's like a clearing out. Oh, you can see my fingerprint there. It's a big clearing out of something. That's interesting. Okay. So why, why is this energy looming over you? Uh, because there's something that you haven't gotten rid of yet. So that's why it's here. It's like here you're treading water, but you shouldn't have to be. You shouldn't have to be, Leo. It's like this Eight of Cups. That's about like walking away from the cups, not just like, you know, like swimming and swimming going, man, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks, and like not walking away from what sucks or, you know what I mean? It's like you're ready to just pull pull the plug and let all of it wash wash down the drain, which is probably what you need, <laughs> which is why it's probably showing up. Um, so here, what are you actually meant to find? <gasps> the wheel, look at that. You're meant, <clears throat> you're meant to find your next cycle. But it's like you you're having you're having issues 
kind of finishing off the one that you're in. It's weird because, like, you never know with cycles, right? It's like you never know if it's something that <clears throat> the universe completely controls or what control you have. Like, like sometimes I wonder, like, can I just end this myself or do I just need to wait for it to play out? I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. Like, you're not sure that you can just, you can just pull the plug. But I think, I think you can. I think that's... It's like whatever this trigger is, this thread, you're pulling it to trigger the new cycle. Because this one's obviously over, and you're not, you can't just tread water forever. And so, that's, so we have this new cycle. So, what are you meant to do with it? Well, I'm sure it means experience it, but let's see. So we have the set. Oh, look, there's your, there's your rainbow. Ha, huh, you're meant to find it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So look, you're meant to, <laughs> you're, you're meant to rise up out of this. You're meant to, you know, you're, you're meant to get, get through this dark yuck right here so that you can get to the rainbow. That is, that's perfect. Perfect use of an energy. All right. So we have one more energy to go through. So the other energy around you right now, Leo. Ooh, the tear. The tear. Why is the tear showing up? I actually want to read. <clears throat> I actually want to read the tear. L I I. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Listen to this. Tears are... Okay, the tear. The morning, the release, the rain. Ugh. What? Okay. So, they're working together. They're working together. So, tears are droplets of letting go. Once they begin to fall, we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course. Often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or situation to break into the next level of, inti <clears throat> of intimacy and vulnerability. Some say that tears are so powerful in softening our egos that they open up a portal to the unseen world. I'm getting goosebumps. Through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us, and we are reminded of their in eternal embrace. Wow. Wow, Leo. Look at this. Okay, so we have this little page of wands, and to me, it looks like... To, I don't know why, but it looks like a teeny tiny spider. But like... It really kind of looks like he's got a strawberry head. Strawberry, okay, so little teeny tiny strawberry head spider guy is trying to figure out whether they can hold this, hold this wand or not, okay? And I think, I think it's okay. I feel like this, this tear is here, obviously in tandem with the thread, but this tear is here to, 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 like, to help you feel better, I think, and to give you a little bit of encouragement. Because this little strawberry head, head spider dude, he, he wants to hold this, okay? <laughs> he wants to hold it. And what do you find? Ah, seven of discs. So, through this, through this process or experience I want to say not really a process through this experience of letting letting this stuff fl like flow just let it let the downpour happen right through that experience it's like when when the when the sky clears right when your eyes are are clear again it's like you get you know you you feel a little bit bigger right you feel you feel able to hold to hold this wand of inspiration, right? And it allows you 
to get to work. It allows you to get to work, the seven of discs. And so what do you do? What Get to work at doing what? So we have Mother of Pentacles, which is Queen of Pentacles. And she's very successful. See, and this isn't, I don't know, I almost feel like this is niche, in like a niche. Like uh, you've got this, this focus here with the Three of Wands, but also the Three of Wands, that's kind of like peering, it's like a portal to your future, okay? You're peering into your future. But you're not doing it with anxiety, you're not doing it with fear or worry, you're doing it with the calm, cool collectedness of experienced Mother of Pentacles. She's kind, she's gentle, she's been around the block, you know what I mean? She's, she, she's not a clown dancer, that's for sure. <laughs> so cool. Alright, Leo, this is your, this is your message, so let's roll this, we're gonna see... We're gonna see what you get with the lucky, the lucky dice. Oh, reading's over. The dot means the reading is over. Now, if you got the star, that means you get an extra bonus reading. If you got right or left, I would pull you an extra oracle card from the left or the right. But uh, you got the dot, so reading's over. All right, Leo, see you later. <laughs>